vehicle access pass. Yeah, but I'm a Formula One driver. No, I'm not media, you know. I'm Jean Lazy. As soon as you No, I'm a Formula One driver, I'm a lazy. The season was underway. Villeneuve, so close to a debut win at Melbourne the year before, suddenly found himself down in second place by the first corner. After the first corner, he was out of the race. Irvine moving across and bumped into... We have a failure in the radio. And the radio is what we use to communicate with, uh, with the driver. Unfortunately, Jean was so concentrated in, uh, in catching the guy in the front, the forgot to look <laughs> in the pit wall. But with a lacy due for a refueling stop, serious problem surfaces. Jean was not paying attention to what was happening in the race around him. The pit crew wait, but there's no sign of a lacy. You can see his helmet, you know, as the driver goes by, you can see them do that. And I could see that Jean was just totally focused on the car in front of him. <laughs> he just keep passing and passing. Into second, perhaps third, let's drift nice and wide. The car was going quicker and quicker and quicker, and you can feel this catching the guy in the front. And that drive, it basically, it blind completely. A lacy nose. And there we are, there is the... <laughs> now, if a lacy has run out of petrol, and you can see by the body language of the Benetton mechanics that they are absolutely furious because they know that Alesi has been told to come in lap after lap after lap and what does he do? He ignores them. I was not watching the board because I was just waiting the, the, the time to, to be called from them. Oh Jean, you may well look a bit worried. You've got a major problem Sunshine when you get back to the pit. The McLaren team are left to celebrate Alesi's misfortune as David Coulthard comes home the winner. Gerhard Berger finishes just off the podium, but gets into the points with fourth. Alesi is at the centre of press reports after the race that he's been fined his race fee. Benetton severely rebuked him, but he was paid his money, a total of a quarter of a million pounds. Really, I, I stopped without fuel because uh, what, when you imagine uh, something so so small in the Formula One, a radio not working and you stopped the Grand Prix because the radio was not working. It was very really bad for me.